this is going to be a long video so i recommend you not to skip any part because you don't want to miss any details hello guys how you doing this is your friend alex and today i'm going to show you how to transfer all your chat history from whatsapp ios to whatsapp android that means from an iphone to an android device in this case i have a samsung galaxy a51 on my right side and i have an iphone 12 on my left side i already did a, a video about this transfer i'm going to put a link in the description but on this video i use the samsung galaxy z flip 3 in this video, I'm going to use an older Samsung device. In this case, it's the Samsung Galaxy A51. We have some requirements in order to do this. On your iPhone, which is called your old device, you need WhatsApp version 2.21.160.17 or greater. And on your Samsung device, you're going to need the Smart Switch app version 3.7.22.1 or greater. And also, you will need the Data Restore tool version 1.0.39.06.04.033. Now, there's a lot of confusion about this transfer, especially because if you go to the official WhatsApp website, I'm going to put a link in the description also, it says clearly, right, how to migrate your WhatsApp data from iPhone to a Samsung phone. And this is the part that is confusing. Your new Android device must be factory new or reset to factory settings. So I'm going to try to do it without doing this factory reset. The first thing you need to do is you need to update your WhatsApp Messenger. You need to do it on the iPhone because you should not have it on your Android device because you're going to transfer it from the iPhone to the Android device. I went to the App Store and I searched for WhatsApp. When you click here, you can see that. Look at that. So when I kind of refresh it, you can see that there's an update. The version I currently have is a 2.21.180. And if you check here, we are good because 180 is greater than 160. So I can just use this version or I can update. Just in case, I'm going to update to the latest version. That's always a good practice. So we're going to open it. So we have WhatsApp. So this is my chat history. I'm going to focus on this chat because on this chat, I have pictures and I have videos and I have a voicemail. So this is what I'm going to transfer. So I want to show it to you first, you know, all the pictures. I have some videos here and also an audio message. Testing an audio message. So we're going to transfer all that. On the Android device, we're only going to check not the WhatsApp version. This is also confusing, right? They want me to have WhatsApp Android version 2.21.16.20. But I should not have WhatsApp installed on my Android device because I'm going to move it from the iPhone. What we need to check is Samsung Smart Switch app version 3.7.22.1. And you can do the same thing. You can go to the Play Store and you can search for, you know, Smart Switch, which is this one, Samsung Smart Switch. You can open it. And if you click here, what's new? You scroll all the way down. You can see the version 3.7.22.1. So that's the one you should have. Now, there's something extra that they don't mention on this document, which is the data restore tool. The data restore tool, it's an app that you should have already on your Android device, but you want to make sure that it's updated. Open your Play Store, and you're going to look for data restore tool, okay? And then you have it right here. If you click here also, the last version is the 1.0.39.06.04.033. This is the latest version you should have in order to do this transfers, right? So now that we have everything comply with the requirements, another thing you need to make sure is you have a lot of battery on your Android. I recommend you 100% because if you have less than 80%, this is not going to work, all right? And then lastly, you need a cable, the lighting port to USB Type-C. If you have an iPhone 12, you will have this cable, but if not, you're going to have to buy it. And then what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to connect both devices with the cable. So we're going to start with the lighting, and now we're going to connect the USB Type-C right there and you can see it says connecting to transfer your data right away smart switch is uh, browsing the iphone and now it's displaying all the stuff that you can move from your iphone to your samsung device you can see there's a lot of stuff you're gonna click here to deselect everything and then you're gonna concentrate on apps you're gonna select apps then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click transfer and these are all the apps that the smart switch found on the iPhone that you can transfer to the Android device, to the Samsung device. And you can see that the first app is WhatsApp. Now, I want to show you something though. I also have WhatsApp business, but right now this is not compatible with this transfer. So I am not going to be able to transfer WhatsApp business. But I do want to show you something. I want to make my point by trying to transfer WhatsApp business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect everything and I'm going to only select WhatsApp business. And WhatsApp Business is another application. You can see it right here. But I just want to make my point, right? If I try to transfer WhatsApp Business, look what's going to happen, right? I'm going to click Install. 
And look, it's trying to do the transfer right away. You see, transferring data from your old phone and it's gonna have this uh, percentage running, but it's not gonna show you the QR code because right now it's not possible to move WhatsApp business. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for some numbers here and then I will cancel it because maybe if you're trying to transfer your WhatsApp, you're gonna see something like this. And look at that, it's already started, right? So I'm gonna cancel it because we didn't see the QR code. I'm gonna click stop transfer. I'm gonna click transfer and I'm gonna be able to select what apps do I want. So now I'm gonna deselect all the apps and I'm gonna select the WhatsApp, the main app, not the business one, but the main one. And I'm gonna click install. And look at this, you see the difference? Now I have the QR code that is really important in order to transfer all your chat history. If you don't see the QR code, chances are you are not gonna be able to transfer. And that's why I show you previously that you cannot transfer WhatsApp business because the QR code was not showing. So we are pretty much ready. We need to scan this QR code. How can we scan it? We open the camera app and we're gonna place the camera app on top of the QR code so you can read it. Now you see a link on the top. You're gonna to click on the, on the, oh, look at this. It says open on WA business, but we don't want that. We want it on the other one. Hmm, that's interesting. So how can we move out? Here's the solution. Travel scanning on your iPhone, open WhatsApp, then go to settings, chats, move chats to Android. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. We go to settings and we go to move chats to Android. Look at this, guys, move chats to Android. And I just want to show you something though. On WhatsApp business, if you go to chats here, you will not find the option move chats to Android, okay? You don't see that on the menu. So that's another reason why you cannot move WhatsApp business for now. Probably in the future you will. But now let me just close this. Let me go back to the regular WhatsApp. We're just gonna click on this, move chats to Android. Boom, right there. And there we're gonna have this, move chats to Android. Transfer your chat history and media to your new Android phone. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. Okay, so we'll just do it right now. Start, looks like everything is working. Getting chats ready, keep your phone unlocked. And look at this guys, continue on your new phone. Now we see this uh, percentage. Another thing I want to point out, look, right now we are 93% and you can see here that the iPhone is charging the battery from the Android battery. So of course this Android battery is gonna go down fast. You have an estimate here of two hours and 45 minutes that varies depending on how much data you have. On my case, I have around 2.5 gigabytes of data. I saw on the comments a guy that has 8 gigs of data and he had a problem of his Android device die before completing the transfer. So that's an actual problem because unfortunately we cannot charge the devices because we have the cable on the charging ports right now. So that's a flaw that uh, Samsung and Android did. This device specifically cannot be charged wirelessly because it's a plastic bag. You need a, a glass bag in order to charge the phone wirelessly. So that's not gonna solve it. There's another option that you can buy an adapter. Let me show you that adapter just in case. You can buy it at Amazon for $37, right? And this adapter is gonna give you these two ports. So you're gonna charge it from here on from here and the other end is the lighting port. So you're gonna connect this port, this end to the iPhone, and here one to the Android and the other one for power. 4.4%, one hour and 51 minutes left. So I'll be back. So we are at 96.9, and currently to this, it says two minutes left. So look, it went to four minutes. That's another thing that uh, Samsung needs to fix. So we're gonna keep waiting here. 97.3%, now five minutes, so it's going up. <laughs> I don't know why. 97.9 but i want to keep recording because i want you to see what happened when it finished so what's going to happen guys i was watching my own video and what's going to happen is this look right there guys we actually saw it it actually happens it says done transferring your data we are organizing your transfer data in the background and we will let you know when that's finished in the meantime enjoy your phone and it says you can now disconnect the usb cable so that's what we're going to do we're going to disconnect the cable and we're going to go to the home screen and you can see, if you scroll down, you can see this, the smart switch working on organizing your transfer data. You can click here actually, and you can see what's going on here. One minute left. <laughs> this is the longest minute I ever experienced, but uh, I want to keep recording for you guys to see what's going on. One minute left. And again, this is the smart switch software actually working. But look at this, it finished. And it says data transfer results, one item, one Mac, 
and I want to see this iPhone apps. See matching or recommended Android apps and choose what to install. But you can click here too. Hmm, look at this. They transfer both. Hmm, I don't like that. But we're gonna click here. We just want to transfer this one. Welcome to WhatsApp. Agree and continue. They're gonna ask me for my number and one. Okay, next. And it says you enter the phone number. So I'm gonna just confirm it. It's gonna send a text to my number on the iPhone, and you can see it right here. And the code is five three two six six eight. Okay, we verify it, and we have a two-step verification that I set up before, and I pass it. So now we're going to see importing chat history. We will need permission to restore your chats. You will not be able to import later if you skip this step. So we're going to click start. And we're going to give permissions to WhatsApp, allow, and allow. So now it's importing all the chat history. Remember, it's two gigs of data that I'm moving from my iPhone to the Android. And guys, I want to let you know that this is now possible only on a Samsung device. Once we finish this, we're going to have our chat history on a Samsung device. And then we can do a backup on a Google Drive. And then we can switch to another Android device. OnePlus, Xiaomi, whatever device you want to move. Once we have it here as an Android backup, then we can move it anywhere. So there's no problem. I want you to be a witness of what's going on here. It's 99%. And we still have 50% battery, so this phone holds it pretty good. Import, this is what you want to see, guys. Look, import complete. And once you have this done, you're just going to click next, Alex. Next, WhatsApp is starting. You can just close it. You don't need to agree with that. You're going to click next. And Google Drive Backup, I'm going to put daily to this account. And I'm going to include videos. I'm going to click done. It's going to ask me for my two-step verification pin. I'm going to put it. And that's it, guys. And I'm going to go to this chat. And you can see that I have all my chats available, guys. All the pictures. All the videos. Audio. Testing an audio message. On and chats. Okay. And that's it, right? And then what I will do is I will go here, chat back up, and I will back it up right now. You see local never, Google Drive never. I will back it up right now. So I have it on my Google Drive, on my phone. And then you can move to another phone because now you have it as an Android backup. You can move to Xiaomi. You can move to OnePlus, Motorola, Huawei, whatever device that you want to use. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, we're going to be able to do this on the opposite side. We're going to be able to transfer from Android to iPhone. I guess this is going to happen soon with the new iPhone 13. If for some reason you don't want to use your WhatsApp on the Android device, you can easily move back to the iPhone. Your phone number is not longer registered with your WhatsApp on this iPhone. This might be because you register it on another phone. If you didn't do this, verify your phone number to log back into your account. Once this is done, then you can go back to your iPhone just by clicking verify. You're going to get a confirmation code on your iPhone right away. And you're going to go back to your WhatsApp iPhone but you're going to have a backup on Android. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you like it. The best way you can help my channel is if you subscribe to my channel. That's really important. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you on my next video. We move from iPhone to Android. All the WhatsApp history. Thank you. Bye.